Okay, let's get this fucking shit started. Let's get this shit started, shall we? I like to get things started. Come here. What? Just come here. What? Ow, shh. Bro, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> you popped him right in the face immediately. Seventy-five years, and we're still going strong. <laughs> Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card. But you find out anyway because why? Because Gregory will talk about it. I'm a little sore today. I'm a little sore today because I had a workout yesterday. I had a. I've been working out a lot lately, but I did some kettlebell squats, and it made me sore. Just kidding. We all know that's a lie. No, it's not a lie. I took it up the ass. Can't say that. Can't say that the first fucking 60 seconds into the podcast. At least give it a little bit. Jesus. Come on, buddy. What's your problem? You guys got any bags? You guys... You guys got... You guys... You guys got any bags? Like the new setup? It's not really a new setup. I got a, a monitor. You can't see it, though. And I don't want you to see it. You can see the corner of my laptop there, here. Should I move that? How's that? I don't give a fuck. I want you to see it. I want you to see the corner. That's part of the fucking... That's a nice little... That's a nice little edge right there. We all need a nice little edge in our life. It's fight week, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what does that mean? It means there's UFC this weekend. 305. Fucking in Perth, Australia. Izzy versus Dricky. Izzy versus Drisky. Izzy versus Drizzy. That's what I was looking for. That's what that's what I needed in my life. It's always nice. It's all the, the week leading up to a fucking UFC event is always nice, isn't it? It just feels good. It feels delectable. It feels delicious. It feels great. Because you're like, ah, can't wait for the weekend. Fucking get some food and friend and watch the fights. Huh? Last couple episodes, I've been not prepared, and that's okay. We're not doing this again, though. Uh, lately, I've been not prepared for this. There's too much other shit going on, so... But that's the thing about podcasting is you don't necessarily have to prepare. You don't have to do anything. You just have to get on the podcast and talk. And normally I have topics to talk about, but I really don't have any fucking thing to talk about. Other than the fact that it's been, I don't know about everywhere else in the world, but here in Canada, Alberta, have you noticed like, obviously you've noticed, but it's been like, what's with the smoke, you know? As a child growing up, as a black kid growing up in the Bronx. Don't touch each other, please. I never, there was never forest fires. And if there was, it was like a rare thing that, you know, came every one, every fucking whatever. Barely ever. But now it's like every fucking week in the summer, there's forest fires. And it's now becoming like the, the they call it like, it's forest fire season. What? Why? How? What's going on? Why is there so many forest fires? Should we ask ChatGPT? See, this is the problem. This new setup. My laptop's all the way over here. I don't have an extra keyboard, so I gotta fucking boop this out of the way to type in anything. And I have to look over here. <laughs> I have to type over here and look over here. What the hell's going on with this fucking setup? You don't know what the fuck you're doing, guy. 
What the fuck is this? Do I have to let me log in at least? Okay. Uh why are there so many forest fires now nowadays? Ah, uh, climate change. I should have known that was coming. Rising global temperatures lead to hotter, drier conditions. Invasive species. Reese's species. You know Reese's pieces? Well, this is Reese's sp species. Invasive plant species can change the natural fire regime of an ecosystem now see that's that has some truth to it i've seen i've seen uh forests where a beetle comes in and fucking has sex and more sex and they just breed like crazy and they eat all the trees and then the trees die and then then then, then, then when the trees are dead they catch on fire and then it spreads it's a smoky fucking day out there. It's a, like yesterday it was fine. It was clear. There was nothing. And now today it's just a smoke show. And not in a good way. Increased lightning strikes. Eh. But it's the, it's the forests. Forest management practices. In some regions, past forest management practices, such as suppressing small fires, have led to an accumulation of dry, dead vegetation. This buildup of fuel can cause fires to become much larger and more intense when they do occur. Human activity. Many fires are caused by human actions, acts either accidental or intentional. This includes activities like unattended campfires, just as arson. Yeah, okay, but the, but the forests are dead. Global climate change. Rising global temperatures lead to hotter, drier conditions, which create a more flammable environment. Extended droughts, blah, 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 blah. Well, chat, Mrs. Chat GPT, it just seems like there's more now than there has ever been. What's, what's, what's the deal, man? I can definitely feel like there's more forest fires now than ever before, and in many ways that's true. The number and intensity of wildfires have been increasing in recent years due to several key factors. Longer fire seasons. What does that mean? Fire se Oh, I see. Never mind. Fire seasons are now longer due to climate change. Wait, what? Increased media coverage. Is that what it is? Is that because we have more access to media faster, quicker? We're just seeing it more, but it's always been a thing? I don't know. More extreme fires. The fires that do occur now are often larger and more intense, making them... Yeah, but why? Partly due to build up of fuel, like dry wood and brush. Why? Where's that coming from? I guess that was answered up here, kind of. Poor forest management. Population growth, historical comparison. While it may feel unprecedented, wildfires have always been a part of natural landscape in many reasons. However, the scale for... Maybe that's true. You know, the world goes goes through cycles, fire cycles, cooling cycles, poop cycles. You little fucking rat. Oh, yeah. You little fucking rat. Shut up, McGregor. You're not even fighting anymore, guy. Fire suppression policies. Decades of fire suppression preventing small natural fires have led to the accumulation of combustible material in forests. Uh, fire. I love fire. I don't. I hate it. Don't use the word hate anymore. Don't use it. Just don't use it. I'm trying to be more mindful. I'm trying to be more aware. I'm trying to be more vigilant in life. And by doing that, you have to recognize the things that you do in life that you shouldn't be doing and that happens all the time and the older you get the more you're able to recognize 
And one thing I've been recognizing about myself lately is I throw the word hate around a lot and I get frustrated very easily over nothing. And that's not good. And you shouldn't do that either. So when, when something bad happens, or even if it's something, even if it's a small inconvenience or big, find a way to turn it into a positive. As a younger child, I would have said to myself saying this, that's cheesy and fucking stupid. And don't do that because it's cringy. But guess what? There's actually some truth to it. So if something happens to you and you want to say, oh, I hate that. I hate it. Well, how about instead you just, you say, uh, well, it's an opportunity to, to learn and grow. That's gay. That's fucking gay. Don't talk like yep. that. That's hey, fucking sure gay. Did. Shut the fuck up, dude. I want to oil you up. Yeah, Dana. What the fuck does that mean? All right, let's open, up, let's open her up with a clip here. Which one should we do, I wonder? You know what? We're talking about teaching things. This guy has found a lovely method to teach you fine folks how to do something. You remember Belle Delphine, huh? Of course you do. Don't act like you don't fucking know the name, all right? Well, she used to bottle her farts, put them in a jar, sell them on the internet. Guys would buy them and sniff them up, all right? But when you think about it, when it comes down to it, it's kind of hard to bottle a fart, isn't it? You got to catch it right at right the last second. You got to catch it and close the lid. That's hard to do because it's a gas. Not a lot of people can do that. All right. And then you got to wait for the fart. Either that or you eat some gassy foods, but then it's like you're farting all night and I don't know. And then you still got to like, you got to still got to wait for the fart. It's not just, you can't just fart on command. Unless you have a talent, which some people do. There was this guy who was featured on YMH a lot of, uh, a while ago, a lot of years ago. What was his name? Will the Farter. We should look him up, actually. After we watch this video, we'll watch Will the Farter. This guy is great. If you haven't seen this guy, I am about to fucking blow your mind. Does he have a TikTok? Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. We'll watch some Will the Farters. In a second here. If this ever loads. Yeah, looks like it doesn't want to load. Hold on, it's going to load. Come on, bitch. Nope. Oh, what's it doing? It's really struggling right now. It's really friggin' struggling. What the heck? I can't even close it. Okay. Will the farter. Come on, Will, where you at, boy? This isn't going to load, is it? Oh, there it is. This is him. Okay, well, before we check out Will the farter, this guy has something to show you here. My dick is itchy. I'm going to scratch it. Today I'm going to teach you how to capture a pure, untainted fart. Uh, you're going to want to fill a bathtub and get a fart receptacle. You're going to want to get your cup and you're going to want to fill it up with water. Then, when you invert it, you will notice that it is filled with water all the way in the jar. Uh -huh. Now, cool. when you fart towards the surface, the air will travel up and end up in the top of the jar. Oh, nice. Here. Let's try it out. Please. Look at that. As you can see, the top of this jar has a little bit of air in it. Wow. But it's not air. Now, submerge the cup again and screw the lid on. Once you take it out of the water, you'll notice there's a little bubble in there. You know what that is. That's the fart. The final step is to bring this to a friend and have them sniff it. All right. The only problem with that is now you've got a jar full of water. But there's a fart floating in there. You got a jar of water with a fart. We got to find a way to do this because I like that method because you've, you've fully captured the fart in the cup with this method. There is no fart escapage. It is, the fart is fully submerged in that cup. But the problem is it's a cup full of water now. So how do you get rid of the fa water but keep the fart? 
I don't know. That is a question for Hank Green. Hank Green, how do you get the fart out? Or how do you get the water out but keep the fart in? Nah, is that possible? There's got to be an easier way to trap a fart in a cup, right? Asking for a friend. Isn't that what you're supposed to say? Mm-hmm. For the, what the hell? I got six messages. How did that happen? What the fuck? How did that happen so fast? Oops, I didn't mean to click that. Nah, I didn't click it. <laughs> Sometimes life works out for the better. We are, we are. Seriously, I'm not prepared. Seriously. Where it's, it's, it's tough to, <laughs> it's tough doing a podcast by yourself. I need fucking guests or something. I don't know. This thing's got to change somehow. We got to, or I just got to, all I got to do, all I have to do, if I just wrote more fucking topics on this throughout the week, I'd be fine. Cause that's once I have topics on, oops, once I have topics on here, test, 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 still working. All I have to do is just fucking glance and go, Oh, we can talk about that. And I riff off it. But when there's nothing on this, I'm shit out of luck, dude. But who gives a fuck? Not me. I don't care. And you know what? This guy doesn't care either. <laughs> I wonder if that's his papa. What is he writing? What did he write down there? Stop it. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? Knock it off. Mary, stop fucking filming because he's going to hurt somebody. <laughs> he's getting I'm so close. Knock his head off. Oh my God. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. I love this. Hands will follow. It's that's where the power comes from, right there. (laughs) Hands inside. Hands inside. Shoot the hips. Hands will follow. Keep that butt of the bat in. Butt of the bat in. See that little triangle. (laughs) Triangle. Contact. Launch angle. Okay, see, see you again. Is there any more? Who is the guy? That's got to be his father, right? It's got to be his papa. It's very, it's a nice video. Nothing like a nice video on a hot Tuesday afternoon. It's not Tuesday, it's Wednesday. Get your fucking facts straight. Every other video on this account is trash. It's trash. Nothing compares to that video. I am not feeling... I do not feel like recording a podcast right now. Not even a little bit. And you want to know why? It's because I haven't prepared. But that's nothing new around here. That's nothing new around here. What are we going to do? Just watch clips after clips? Dude, I'm telling you, I need guests. I need guests. I can't do this anymore. I can't keep going. I can't keep going by myself. You, you do so many episodes and you just run out of shit to talk about. It's fucked. It's fucked. This podcast is fucked, dude. It's trash. Whatever. Anyway, that's what we're just going to do. We're just going to fucking rifle through this. Have y'all heard of Ari Matty? Okay, he's an, he's like he's like an up-and-coming stand-up comic. He's fucking fantastic too. Oh my god, he's so good. And he he used to be he's kind of he's kind of follows the same path as fucking Joe Rogan. He he used to be involved with MMA. He was a fight commentator and he fought himself and then he transitioned into fucking stand-up comedy. And he's been making his rounds around places. You know, he's been doing sets on Kill Tony. 
And he actually was just on the Joe Rogan experience. And, you know, I just, I, I love, I love and I don't love sometimes when Joe has new people on they've never heard of. You know, you throw them on, it's a hit or miss. Usually it's always a hit. There's the odd time it's a miss, but it's a great way to discover new people. And I threw this on and I had no idea who this guy was, the episode of Joe Rogan, and I listened to it and it's and he's fucking hilarious just as a person. And when I was listening to the episode, I didn't even realize he was a stand-up comic. And as the episode went on and on and on, I found out, you know, he used to like be involved with fighting and fight commentating. I was like, oh, okay, so he's that kind of guy. And then I found out he was a stand-up comic like three quarters of the way through the podcast or some shit, maybe halfway through. And I'm like, oh my God, this is so cool. This guy's fucking awesome. So then I checked out his stuff on Kill Tony and I'm like, holy shit, this guy's cool as fuck. So I check out this guy. His name's Ari Matty and he's fucking, uh, where's he from? Where, where the fuck's he from? Estonia? Some shit? Yeah, Estonia. Anyway, let's check out a little bit of his shit. I want an American passport. <laughs> and I need help with that. To be honest, I just want a passport where if I go missing, uh, somebody comes looking. Because I have an Estonian passport. If I get in trouble here, I'm fucked. But with the American one, with that eagle on your shit, you could be in fucking Beirut. You pull that shit out, caca! You know, people will back the fuck up. You could be some random whore <laughs> sucking dick in Pakistan. If you go missing, bro, Navy SEALs in the night. What is this? It's comedy. That's what it is. Don't ask questions. For real. Just check them out, okay? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to that. I was zoned out. I was thinking about other shit. Has that ever happened to you? You hit play on a video and your eyes are looking in that direction, but you're not hearing what's being said. You're hearing it, but you're not comprehending it. You know what I'm talking about. This guy knows. Greg knows. Seriously, just check him out. Just I would I would actually recommend listening to the episode of the Joe Rogan Experience that he was on first, and then maybe go check out his stand-up comedy, huh? Because honestly, I haven't really checked out his stand-up comedy. I've only, you know, I heard him on the on the fucking Experience, and then I'm like, oh, this guy's fucking cool as shit. And by the way, he was fucking. Him, Ari, Mat Ari Maddie, I keep calling him Mattel for some reason. Ari Maddie and... Uh, Shut your fucking mouth, you'll do nothing. You'll do fucking nothing. And... What the fuck was I going to say? Oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, um... Ron White. They were with Joe Rogan while he was filming that live special. They were in the green room. They were all hanging out together. Before Joe went up on stage. I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. This guy's just part of the group now. I don't know how long he's been doing stand up either. He's a he's a he's a he's a new person in the in the realm of of stand up comedy. And it's nice. It's it's really nice to see new people. Tickles my fancy. Cause when you follow the stand up comedy world, you know, you you just know a few people and then you start to know a few more. And then you know a little more, and then a little more, and a little more, and a little more, and then then you start to know everybody, and then you get to a point where you like you just know everybody, and it's like you're not finding any new people for a while, and then every once in a while a new one will come in to the into the realm, and it's like oh my god, this is so cool, this is so exciting, and that's how I feel about Ari Maddie, and you know it's the uh, I can relate this to UFC too because I'm still fairly new into UFC, but I'm really starting to enjoy it. And like I said, over the past year or year and a half, two years, I've been invested in watching every single one. Not the fight night, not just the main number cards. I watch every single one. But I'm still a newcomer into it. I can't name 
the majority of them. I know the mainstream guys, and I'm starting to learn, but uh, I haven't got to the point where I can, you know, recite anyone, anytime, anywhere, any place. Whereas with comedy, I can pretty much do that. But yeah. Uh, Ari Matty, dude. This guy's going places, for sure. He's fucking awesome. I guarantee we're going to see this guy more and more as the fucking, as the days go on. These are the days of our lives. Oh, we didn't check out Will the Farter. Right. You want to see Will the Farter? Oh, there's so many. Look at all these farts. These aren't even Will the Farter here. They're just people. Okay, which one should we watch? Uh, he, yeah, I guess he, he does a lot of prank calls nowadays. With All farts. Your friends, you can do appointments with them, that way they can um, refer you out and refer you to me, or you could go through the urgent care, or and go to the hospital and see if something for you. Wait. All right, is there is there like anything I can do? Like we like. This is part in the meantime, two. Where's part one? It looks like he called like the hospital and said, I can't stop farting. Okay. Well, there's, there's part two. Where's part one for fuck's sakes. Trolling in Amazon. No, 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 no. Oh, TikTok is so fucked, dude. TikTok needs to fucking figure out how to organize their pages better. Why is there no part one? Is this part one? I apologize. I don't fuck it. Let's just watch something. Is this me or is this really quiet? What's that noise that I hear in the background? <laughs> I apologize for this inconvenience. Not much matter. Like, what, what, is that like, I, I keep on hearing this rumbling sound. Is that coming from you? I do apologize for that. I'm also hearing the same voice, and I was thinking it's coming from you. <laughs> I do apologize. Oh, no, it's not coming from me. I thought it was coming from you. I, I, I didn't know if you were in the bathroom or something. <laughs> I do apologize for that. Uh, I'm on the auditing line of Papa John. So this is the auditing line of Papa John. I'm not talking to you from... <laughs> Like, I keep on hearing that. That's so weird. Yes, that is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand what that is. Wow. Noise. It's and so And you know weird. what the crazy thing is? Whoops. When we would watch this guy on YMH, he never talked. As far as I could remember, he was always just farting. Like, maniacally farting. And... He always just seemed like there was something wrong with him. But now that we watch him in this context, he's like, oh, he's just a normal guy who knows how to fucking fart up a storm here. Dude, I'm feeling off today, for real. I'm not feeling... This is crazy. The past couple episodes have just been... Just stop and feeling it, dude. It's rough. It is rough. But we're just going to push through. Okay, because we still... Because UFC 305 is this weekend... And, oh, that's why I'm so loud. And I have to do fight predictions. All right? But we're not there yet. We're not going to get there yet. I forgot about this shit. This shit's right here. Look, dynamite. Woohoo. Right in frame. Guy. Okay, let's watch. What do we got here? We got two more clips. I don't even think we're 30 minutes in yet because I fucked around for the first little bit. That's cut off camera, though. Farts, puke, um, very funny, hilarious to me. Did rednecks kill your folks? I don't know how you feel about it. I know a lot of people or some people, Bee, boo, boo, bop, boo, boo, beep. they think it's disgusting and they don't want anything to do with it. Time me to go and finger me booty. But for me, it's just, I'll... For the rest of my life, if you puke in front of me, if you fart in front of me, even if it's not even near me, away from me, hey, don't lick that. 
Hey, no, 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 no. Oliver, go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down right now. Go, please. Please. No, go lay down. I don't know what it is about filming a podcast, but my dog gets so anxious. And I think it's because I'm talking to basically no one. So he probably thinks I'm talking to him and he's like, what are you saying? Why do you keep blabbing on? What are you, who are you talking to? What are you trying to say to me? I don't know. And he, he basically panics every time. But what are you going to do? Here's a puke video. <laughs> the noise. You hear the gargle? You hear the gargle, you hear the slosh. <laughs> you hear the screams. It's all around funny, but most people don't find it funny. <laughs> this one is especially funny because it's it's more strange than any other puke I've heard before. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dynamo Gizmo podcast. This is this is why I'm not making it. This is <laughs> this is well, you know what it is. It's a poop cast. It's trash. You come here. You come here and watch this shit. If you, uh, if you want to get grossed out, if you want to feel like an asshole, if you want, if you want top notch fucking trash quality content, then the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast is a place for you. Bee boo boo bop boo boo bee. Because it seems like every time, every fucking episode, it's either puke. He's jacking. He's jacking. Or it's shit. He can't keep get. He's jacking. He can't keep. He can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep getting. He can't keep. He can't keep getting. He can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep getting away with it. Can I do them both at the same time? He can't keep getting away with it. That's interesting. He can't keep getting away with. He can't. He can't, he can't, he can't keep getting away with it. 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 Watch Breaking Bad. One more clip. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Did you miss that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just says, ooh. He's trying to catch it, but the cameraman fucking failed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. You can't just foam up in an airport like that and turn away. Show the guy. <laughs> oh. He's fucking, he's waterboarding himself. He's drowning. He just drowned himself. Oh. And why does he do that? He goes, ooh. What a guy. And in an airport, too. He's got a whole audience. He's like doing a stand-up set. Watch. Watch when the camera pans. Oh. I guess there's not, well, there's people, but they're not all facing him, I guess, but... God, it's just sometimes, sometimes, I guess, sometimes it's nice not to see the full thing. Nah, that's a lie. I want to see the rest of that. I want to see what happened. How long did it foam up? Because we only got to see, can I pause and scroll or can I, or does it play? Okay, where, when does it happen? How much foams? Well, wow, TikTok is crappy for this. You can't even scrub through it. 
Dude, I bet he, yeah, he had more to gush out of there. What's he pouring into it? Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck, man. I, okay, what is that thing that he's pouring in there? I don't know if I can zoom in. It won't let me unless I... Mood? It looks like it says mood boost. Mood boost. I wonder if that's like some THC syrup or some sh something. Either that or it's some bullshit. But he's like, I, I, I bet it is like some THC syrup, you know, stuff, something that's like uplifting. And he's pouring it in there and he's like, I'm going to get fucking baked before I go on this plane. I'm going to pour this into my Sprite, fucking chug it. And then I'm going to go on the plane. And, uh, it looks like he's going on a nice Hawaiian vacation, probably. Maybe he's going to Hawaii, you know? Or maybe he's coming back from Hawaii. Who knows? But he's fucking getting ready either way. And, uh, well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But uh, the shitty thing for him is whatever that was THC syrup it's now wasted he wasted it it's all over the fucking ground ah <laughs> oh, fuck dude you need to leave thugnificent thugnif thugnificent bay what does that mean I don't understand what he's trying to put in the sprite well, let's see if we can get an answer here. Right? Liquid Mentos? Crazy. Cough syrup? See, I kind of thought it was cough syrup too, but... It says mood boost on it, so... Well... It says mood boost. What is he adding to the Sprite? I can't read the bottle. Mood booster. I read it first go, like a supplement. Okay. Yeah, that's right. It could be a supplement. Ah, uh, okay, I guess fucking we'll jump into UFC shit. Oh, we got out. Actually, we got one more video to watch. But Ariel Hawani, I just want to say this. Ariel Hawani, you know, you know who he is. And if you don't, then whatever. Fuck off. He's, his contract is up with his two fucking people that he was signed with. So now he's, now he's independent. Or maybe he'll sign with someone else, but... I don't want him to leave. A lot of people hate him. A lot of people hate him. But I actually like him. I think he's great to have around. I learn a lot from him. And he's very non-biased, which is really nice. I just want to check out this video here. Hey, everyone. It's Ariel. I'm still actually in Europe. Okay, this is literally just the clip of him talking about it. Yeah. Or are coming to an end. Yeah, yeah. There's no way. There's no fucking way he's going to stop covering MM or UFC or I guess MMA in general. There's no way he can't, but I guess we'll find out. But before we get into our fight predictions here, I just want to show you one fight. This popped up on my X feed. I got it right this time. I didn't say Twitter the other day. And I thought, what the heck this is crazy or actually, I can't even remember what this video is. Oh yeah, it was the le this is leg kicks in a street fight. Check it out. God, that's that must hurt so much, dude. Ah. <laughs> the other guy's flailing. Ooh, fuck. Oh, and you see that he just barely t he just like lightly touched him and he fucking knocked him out. That guy's it's a, a guy can fight, dude. He's a fighter. Okay. So it looks like fucking... It looks like... I don't even think McGregor's going to fight Chandler. I don't think it's going to happen. And who am I to say? But at this point, we've actually seen Chandler. Like if I look up Chandler's name here, can I do it? Of course, it's not going to do that. Hold on. He he put out a tweet today that's like, 
Fuck off, dude. What? He has a he has a podcast? Is that what that says? Does that say walk on podcast? No, fitness. But he he's in a podcast app. Oh, whatever. Where did he write it? Where did he write it? Mm, ha Here it is. Uh, let me zoom in. Ah, uh, Connor. Ah, uh, Connor. Coming forth to carry me home. Connor. Oh, Con Connor. Coming forth to carry me home. You little fucking rat. The sport will move on and thrive without you. Put to bed. Laid to rest. Soon a distant memory. You vastly overestimated your importance inside of this game for almost a decade. Godspeed. And you know what? Honestly, if they didn't fight, I wouldn't even be disappointed. I don't give a fuck at this point. They just keep postponing it and postponing it and postponing it and delaying it and canceling it. Yada, 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 yada. So... And like I've been saying the past while now, the hype for McGregor has dissipated to almost nothing. I don't give a fuck about McGregor anymore, honestly. And like seeing him at Sturgis the, the other weekend, he just looks like a fucking dickhead. <laughs> you know, he and he acts like a fucking arrogant, cocky asshole. Mind you, I'm just I'm saying this based off of clips, so. Maybe I shouldn't be talking. But I don't know. The hype is gone for me, as is for everyone else. Um, but the thing is, if he doesn't fight Chandler, he still has two fights left on his contract, so he's going to have to fight someone twice, two different people. I don't know. Unless there's a way to get out of it. And maybe that's what he's trying to do. Maybe he's just doing whatever he can to fucking delay and cancel and postpone so that he he can just get out of fucking UFC and put... Oh, my legs are sore. Holy fuck. Put all his leg... <laughs> all his eggs in one basket in BKFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Bacon Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know, I that could be potentially it. Maybe, maybe he's like fuck the UFC at this point. He just wants to be on the BK because you know he's part of it now. So, and you know he wants to fight in there. You know he does, but he can't because he's not allowed until he fucking finishes with the UFC. But it's like if that was the case, why not just fight Chandler and get it over with? I don't know. Who knows? It's it's uh, that's the thing about UFC is what I notice. Is there there's just everything is kept quiet. And I mean this goes for any organization or anything in general. Not just UFC, not just fighting, any sort of organization, any sort of anything. When it becomes such a big entity, everything everyone uh, on top is keeps things quiet and they don't say anything and don't let anything get out. And so there's always just speculation across the board from everybody. Uh, well, from the fans and from people who are in, who 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 uh, indulge in the content. So, really, nobody fucking knows. But we all speculate. That's just how it goes, you know. Just like people were speculating about what's going to happen in the middleweight division, okay? Because we've got Izzy fighting Drickus, all right? Now, we know Izzy... Well, we don't know Izzy's going to... But let's say Izzy wins, okay? Izzy's got the belt back. Now, before Dana White announced that Sean Strickland is for sure fighting whoever wins between Drickus and Izzy... All right, so that is confirmed. All right? Uh, you know, whoever wins this weekend, Sean Strickland is the next person to fight again. Uh, to possibly claim the belt back. And I can't fucking wait for that fight, let me tell you. That's going to be fucking awesome. And I hope he does get it back. I don't give a fuck what you think. But anyway, before 
Dana White announced that that is actually happening. Everyone was like, oh, Kamzat is fighting Whitaker. And they're like, okay. So whoever wins that fight is going to have an opportunity to fight the winner of Drikus and Adesanya. And it turns out that's not the case. But that's kind of what I thought. I thought, like, because I'm wanting fucking Kamzat to win against Whitaker. Whitaker's great, but I just, I you know, how could you hate Kamzat? He's so fucking, the guy's a fucking maniac. But the shitty thing about Kamzat is, is he's so one. He's the most unreliable fighter that there's ever been. Well, I shouldn't say that there's ever been, because what do I know? But he's very unreliable. So who knows if he's even gonna show up this time? But if he does show up this time, I would like to see him win. And I would also like to see him have the belt one day. But I also want to see Strickland have the belt. So I, I you know, either way, I'd be fine. But uh, let's get into the fight predictions. Okay, so as you may or may not know, I create uh, fight prediction sheets, okay? And I put them in a Google Drive online that you can access and download and print these sheets off for yourself to use with friends or family or whoever the fuck, or even just for yourself, if you want to fucking, you know, have a little fun with the fights on fight night, okay? So this is the sheet here, boppity boopity, you see? It's got the early prelims, the prelims, and the main card. And for each each section, there's a little, why is it not? Okay, there we go. For each section, there's a little checkbox. You can check vote. For who you want, uh, who you think is going to win, and then a little check mark, check box for win once they do win. All right. Now, every time, every t- every new fucking main of main card, main number card, I I make these, and I update them a little bit more every time, make them a little better. This time, I've added the flags and behind them, I've made the check boxes a little bit bigger, uh, and I guess that's really all I've got. I think actually before I it only said underdog and favorite. It didn't have the actual numbers. Now I included the numbers. They've got their ranking, or not ranking, their records on the side. It also says the name of their country in case you don't know what the flag represents. And then their ranking is up top here. These are all, there's a lot of non-ranked fighters here. There's only really one ranked fighter in both the early and the prelims. And then it's not until the ninth fight that we start to see ranked fighters. But that's okay. I'm really excited for the Urseg fight, too. I was so disappointed that he didn't get the belt last time. God, he would have been a way better fucking champion than fucking Pantoja. God, it would be so cool to see him win. I'm sure he's going to have that chance again. But uh, let's hope he he defeats this guy. But anyway... This is it. It's a full sheet. It's a regular size piece of paper. You just print it off, print however many you want off. Now, I'm still unsure about the flags and behind the fighters. I might get rid of those because I've never had that before. But I just thought it kind of looked cool. So I wanted to do it. And initially, I just had the flags behind the fighters and didn't have the little flag here. But I thought, eh, sometimes you can't see the full flag behind them. So I might as well put it up top as well. But anyway, uh, that's the sheet. And the link is in the description. Uh, If you're wondering, like, how to get this, the link is in the description. takes you to the Google Drive. Download it, print it off, okay? I also have just the, like, the early prelims, the prelims, and the main card separated as well. Don't worry about these green dots. Okay. So those are used for my fight predictions. Okay, so let's uh, let's do this. Early prelims. Who do I think is gonna win? Now, again, like I said earlier, I am still very um, you know, I'm, I'm a, 
about a year and a half, two years into actually starting to be involved with this, involved with the UFC on a, you know, on a weekly basis when, when they do release the uh, main number f- card fights. So I'm still learning who everyone is. So in terms of like mostly everybody on this full roster, I don't know who they are. So we're just going to go based off of intuition like I usually do. And a lot of times I'm not far off. And then in the next episode, we'll cover how close I was. That's how this works. Okay. So in the early prelims, there's actually only three fights. Usually there's at least four, but this time there's only three. So in the first fight of the night, now mind you, the last fucking few, um, the last few UFCs, they, they've been, they, they change the fucking roster over and over and over again, right up until the fucking night before the fight. And even on the fucking fight itself, they were fucking changing it. But I mean, shit happens. You know, so like, uh, I can't, when was it, 303 or something? Or maybe it was 304. When was the one that Dan Ige came in, like, four on four hours notice? I don't remember which one it was, but yeah. So then I had to fucking change it, like, while I'm watching it fucking hammered. But anyway, so this might change, because last time I made the predictions and it changed. So if it does, I'll post a picture on YouTube in the community section of my new picks. But anyway, here's what it is so far. So we got this Nickel versus Aguilar. Don't know how to say it. An Australian versus Mexican. And also, by the way, there's a lot of Australians on this card because they're in Australia. But there's also a lot of fucking Brazilians. You'll see on the prelims. Anyway, so for this one, I am... I generally want to go for the person in their home country, but I don't know. Also, the, the odds could change, too. Sometimes they just keep it at even until, like, later on, and then they change it, but who knows, whatever. So, uh, for this one, first fight of the night, I'm going to say... I'm, I'm just going to go for this guy. Whoops. Just put that right there. So, we'll say nickel. For the second fight... Fuck. It's so hard to vote. Like, what do, I don't know what to pick. I'm just going to go for the Chinese guy. You know, give him a chance. All right, he's Chinese. Give him a chance. And then the third fight. See, I think I've heard of this Reyes guy. Seems like this guy's odds are more in favor of him. But what am I going to do? Pick the Australian person for every single fight? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This guy's had more fights. He's had 13 fights. This guy's only had seven. All right. I should say he's won 13 fights because this is win, lose, draw. So he's won. Yeah. Maybe I will go for Reyes. Fuck it. Let's spice things up. All right. Okay. Then we got the prelims. Whoops. So let me just. Ah, uh, uh, fuck you. You f- don't don't talk dirty. All right, so let me just move these out of the way. There's a weird way of doing it, but I there is another way to do it, but I don't want to do it that way. So we're doing it this way. All right, so the fourth fight name we got Jenkins versus Burns, featherweight. Ah, uh, I shy shy see this see this if you look at this whole card here it's brazilian versus australian brazilian versus australian brazilian versus australian brazilian versus australian it's kind of funky isn't it and it's like you want to pick the australian because they're in australia but then you also want to pick the brazilian because it's like brazil they they have fucking great fighters so i'm just going to i'm just going to whip through this quick so i think what i'm going to do ah, fuck okay so i'm going to pick the Australian here, I'm going to say Jenkins. Now for this one, I'm going to say Santos. For this one, for the sixth fight, I'm going to say... I'm going to say Ramos. And then, now here's interesting. 
This Tafa versus Walker. This Walker guy, this is fucking... Oh, my God. What's his name? Why am I forgetting his name? Oh, brother. It's pissing me off that I can't remember his name. Johnny. This is Johnny Walker's brother. If you don't know Johnny Walker, that guy is fucking hilarious. He's one of the... He he was one he's one of the fighters that I fucking loved and I still love. He's been losing a lot of his fights lately, but fuck me is he hilarious. Let's watch some of his stuff right now actually. Let's see if there's a Johnny Walker compilation. Uh let's see here. Best of Johnny Walker. I is the underdog. This is, no, 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 no. This is just like fights. Sure, he can fight, but here we go. Right here. Yeah, yeah. This is what we want. Weapons at his disposal. As you said, Mike, he's wild. Take he's a look under, at this guy. And he's a good dancer. Oh, look my word. Look at this guy. Wow. I mean, Whoa. Okay. I just said that. Too sure about this. That young man. Oh, my word. Yeah. Salsa, anyway. baby. But you did get it in the first one, and it is there. He's slowing down. He's slowing down. <laughs> that shit's hilarious. He got a little carried away with the kick as he was down. But my word, he continues to show everybody <laughs> he can be one of the best in the world. He's just well, so slithery. Let's let Walker have his celebration indeed. Uh, this guy's athletic. A plus athlete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does that shit all the time. He pretends to fall. He's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Dude, I love him. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. That man is wild, literally and figuratively. Unpredictable, tremendously powerful. This, he's unique. Did you injure yourself? When you were celebrating? Yeah. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> what happened? My shoulder. Did you dislocate it? Yeah. Now you attack my family. Oh! You're attacking my family. Now what? They're having a conversation. To the very first round. Declare the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke. Johnny! <laughs> Look at him, dude. He, like, see? I love him for that reason. But he's been getting fucking knocked out lately, which is very disappointment. But I'll always root for him. But regardless, this is his brother. And his brother's a fucking big heavyweight. Huge. Let's look at a picture. He He looks... Like, you would never guess that that's Johnny Walker's brother because he's so much bigger and meaner looking. And when looking at him, you're like, okay, I can kind of see the how they look alike, but... Um, he's just so much... He's just so much bigger. Where'd he go? Where's he at? Here he is. His name is Walter Walker. Look at him. He's just a big, big boy. Now I don't I th from, I think this might be his UFC debut, the clean monster. But I don't know. I don't know if this is his debut. How do you tell? UFC history. UFC fight. Oh, no, this was. Right, UFC fight night. That was his debut. So this is his second, I think. Oh yeah, right here. This is his second fight in the UFC. Pretty sweet, though, right? So, basically, because I'm a fan of Johnny Walker, I'm voting for fucking Walter. Walter Walker, Walter Walker. All right? Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Get that out of here. All right, so now we're on the main card. Uh, basically, I don't know these people. This 
Jing 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 Liang versus Prates or Prats. I don't want to say that. But again, I think I'm just gonna go for for the China fella. I don't know why. I just feel like I just feel like I want to vote for China. And then here, Tayavasa versus Rosin Strick. This guy's from the country of Suriname, which I don't even know. Suriname, maybe? Suriname? I, I have seen. Oh, hold on. I got to fix this. Uh, I have seen this Tayavat. Tui Vasa before, and he's a fucking beast, dude. So, you know, I'm voting for him. Hooker versus Gamrot. I know the name Hooker. I think I've heard the name Gamrot before, but I'm going to go for Hooker. Not only because his name's cool, but I'm pretty sure he's a good fighter, but I don't know. And he's from, well, New Zealand. And by the way, New Zealand and Australia, your guys' flags are basically identical. There's just a couple differences, which I mean makes sense. You're basically the same country. But come on, spice it up a little bit. So you know for this, I'm voting for Urseg. All right? Goofiest looking motherfucker. Just the most timid, non-intimidating person you've ever seen. But fuck me, do I love him. God, I want him to become the champ. And then for the main event... Duplessis versus Adesanya. I'm going for Adesanya. We want Adesanya to get that fucking belt back, baby. You little fucking rat. And that's it. That's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. We're not going to go any further with this. Uh, we made our prediction. So in next episode, uh, just like all of them, I'll uh, go over whether or not I... Uh, I was uh, correct on any of them. Uh, so far, I've been f my average has been pretty good, um, but we'll see. I w I'm hoping that someday I could get like a full sheet of everything correct, or a full sheet of everything wrong. That's never happened yet either. Either way, that'd be great. But uh, yeah, that's it for this episode of the Dynamic Gizmo Podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh,